What's up guys, RGT85 here, and Nintendo has finally listened to our demands and added Super Nintendo games to the Nintendo Switch Online service. Now they dropped 20 different games available for the Super Nintendo on this online service. We of course learned about this yesterday during the Nintendo Direct. If you did not watch my impressions on the Nintendo Direct and my reaction to it, make sure you guys check that out. A lot of cool stuff was in that Direct, but this was definitely one of the highlights. Obviously, I've been pretty hard on the NES Online game service. It hasn't been very good. The games that they've been releasing very very recently have been very questionable to say the least but they have dropped 20 different games of course this game originally um, this list of games originally was leaked back in January and we learned about this but it's definitely great to see a really solid variety of games here and I'm really interested to check out some of the online stuff because I believe this is the first time you'll be able to play something like Super Mario Kart the original Super Nintendo game online of course you can do it with emulators and stuff like that but we're not talking about emulators we're talking about the switch online service so let's briefly go over this list of games. Now, I will be doing this video in conjunction with Spawnwave. Spawnwave will be looking at some different Super Nintendo games as well, so make sure you guys go check out his video. We're going to be playing some online stuff together. But you got Brawl Brothers, you've got Breath of Fire, Demon's Crest, F-Zero, Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby Dream Land 3, Pilot Wings, Star Fox, Stunt Race FX, Earth Defense Force, EDF, EDF. You got Super Ghouls and Ghosts, you got Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Super Mega Metroid, you have Puyo Puyo 2, you have Super Soccer, and that dude looks a lot like the President of the United States of America. Wow. Wow. You have Super Tennis and you have A Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. So a really good lineup of games here, a really solid lineup of games, a lot of fun stuff here. And I love that they did so many games at the launch of the system. But now we have to see how these games perform. I'm sure that the emulation of these games is spot on, but we definitely need to check out these games and see what they're all about. All right, so we are playing Super Mario Kart. As you can see, Spawn Wave is in my match. He's also joining me on Discord. Be huh? I said I am here. Oh, yeah, uh, he's also good. joining me on Discord um, because we're not going to use that that stupid that stupid voice chat app. We talk like distinguished individuals. So yeah, we are checking out Super Mario Kart, uh, sir. Can you please ready up? There we go. You got to ready up, man. All right, we're good. And it, it was very easy to get into a game with him. Um, I just started up the game. God, I don't I don't know the con what the control configuration is. I'm little, using my. Pro it's been a little bit. I'll admit. I'm using my pro controller. I got that, uh, the 8-bit dough controller. So I'm, I'm yeah, see, I gotta find mine. Oh, you gotta, we gotta I, find it. Well, when I moved. Oh my gosh, you lost that thing already? <laughs> no, I, I didn't lose it per se. Um, all right. Oh, jeez. Get out of my way. <laughs> all right, let me remember what the button is to... It's been a while since I played the Super Nintendo one. If this was a 64 one, I'd be in this. Really yeah, if this was a 64 one. You know, I didn't really play the Super Nintendo one really? all that much as a kid. The only time I would get to play it is when I go over to my cousin's house because I didn't have I didn't have an, uh, a Super Nintendo. I just had a Genesis. Yeah, well, this, so, is, this is for my Pro Controller. <laughs> that, wasn't very, that wasn't very nice, sir. I keep going around that the, the, like the pipe on the, other, oh, on the other side. There we go. I just gotta get used to the mode seven and the. Or in the Dude, mode controller. seven is like crazy. It's a All right. Than I, it's a little more slippery than I remember it being. Yeah, I'm using the D-pad right now, connection, and uh, connection is solid though. Yeah, the connection's good. Like, there's no, there's no sorts of issues. Um, I will say I'm going through LAN. I don't know if you're doing oh, Wi-Fi shit. or not. No, I'm doing Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Wow, that's actually pretty good then. Yeah, I'll say I'm going through uh, the Ethernet uh, adapter. God, pe people people are gonna destroy me in the comments. My oh, racing is racing. is not great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Cool. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, can, it I works. Can I can applause. See, you got that. Yeah, you, yeah. you can you can applause my my terrible play. All right, so that was a look at um, Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart. Now I am going to play something online with him, and then we will come back and do some more games and check out some more stuff. So while Super Mario Kart was definitely not in my favor, I highly suggest you guys go check out Spawn Waves video. We played some Super Tennis on there, and the results were a bit different. But now I just want to check out some other games, give you guys some impressions on these other games, see how the emulation runs on these games, and just sort of give you guys my thoughts on them. So we're going to check out Brawl Brothers. This is actually a beat em up game from Jellico. This was actually re-released um, by Retrobit. They did some compilation cartridges that we covered a couple years ago, probably two years ago or so on the channel. And I actually like this game a lot. There's one character in here 
that I really like. It's like a black M. Bison with Hulk Hogan boots. And I know that's going to sound weird to you, but once you see him, you'll see it's, it's black M. Bison with Hulk Hogan boots. Let's check it out, shall we? And there he is. It's, yeah, I mean, spot on, right? He's probably my favorite character in this game, though. I, I, I really like playing as him. Uh, we'll pick the other typical boring white guy in the middle there too but yeah so this like i said is a beat em up game so this would be good to play with um online as well you have where you could play with up to uh, one other player and play super nintendo games online since this is a beat em up you know this would be a pretty fun game i'm pretty sure it, it does support two player mode so you can play this game with a friend and you know it's it's your standard beat em up final fight style game but it's good you know i think it looks good the moves are pretty fun um the levels are pretty creative the enemies are decent enough like you could do a decent amount of stuff in this game so it's definitely a game worth checking out definitely a game that you can find some enjoyment in so it's always been a game that i thought was pretty solid you know like i said the super nintendo library wasn't really something i experienced until i was an adult i didn't have a super nintendo growing up i would have to either play it at a friend's house or a cousin's house so a lot of these games are a bit unfamiliar for me but i did remember checking out this game on that dual pack that um retro bit released and i was pretty impressed with it and honestly another thing i'm impressed with is just how good everything seems to be going with the switch online service for the super nintendo uh spawn wave and i like i said we played mario kart we played uh super tennis and there was like no lag in either game and i remember when um playing the nes games online that there was some lag with things like tech mobile once in a while and it was kind of annoying now it is a peer-to-peer -peer connection it could just be because we both have you know decent internet but i don't know maybe there's something more to it it is something i want to mention uh, of course these games do support the rewind feature so you can turn back time uh, like share would and you know get to a different spot of the game but yeah that's a quick little look at um, Brawl Brothers next up let's check out let's check out a little Star Fox you know this is a game that uh, a lot of people have nostalgia for I don't necessarily think it's aged all that gracefully you know there's a lot of slowdown in the game the polygons are pretty primitive but to see this running on the Super Nintendo was admittedly pretty amazing like this is a game with polygons and stuff like that obviously the Super FX chip and Argonaut was the reason that this was able to be done on the Super Nintendo. There is also Stunt Race FX on the um, Super Nintendo online service that also uses polygons. It has sort of a, a shrunken down screen more so than uh, Star Fox does. So I've never really been a big fan of it. That game didn't play very well either. But I love this. I love the original Star Fox if just for the voices. Ribber -rib 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 and my bad thing like those are the voices in the game and it's just always something that's always stuck in my head like ever since i first played this game as a little kid i always remember that i always remember the song i don't think i've ever beaten the original star fox so maybe oh we gotta get the voices oh it's so good oh it's so good all right what are the buttons here all right here we go i am using my pro controller to play this game um, I have to find that 8 bit dough controller that Spawnwave bought me for Christmas. Um, when I moved, I stuck it in a box somewhere and God, God only knows where it is, but we will, we will find it. Um, I definitely want to pick up the Super Nintendo controllers that they're doing though. Um, I did not pick up the NES ones for the NES online service because they came in a pack of two and I was like, I don't really need two. I just want one. And I thought it was pretty stupid that they did that, but they are selling the Super Nintendo ones individually for just uh, $29.99. So I think that's going to be, you know, worth picking up whenever those go up for uh, pre-order for Switch online members. I'll definitely be picking that up. Um, I have to say something though, and this could just be because it's been a very long time since i've played Star Fox, but this seems to be running like a little bit smoother and a little bit less slowdown than i remember uh the original Star Fox running i could be completely wrong on that um let me know in the comments section down below but it does feel a little bit smoother it seems like the frame rate isn't quite as slow and sluggish as i remember Star Fox. now like i said that could just be my memory i haven't played Star Fox really in quite a while i didn't play Star Fox 2 of course Star Fox 2 was available on the snes classic but this seems to be i don't know it seems to be running a, a little bit better than i than i remember Star Fox, the original game running but yeah, it's Star Fox. The polygons look nice and crisp and big and bulky. I love old school polygons. Like, there's just some sort of charm to them where they have, like, these big, bulky, you know, squares and rectangles and cylinders. Like, I don't know. There's just some sort of nostalgic charm to that for me because, you know, I grew up in the era of the bulky polygons. But that was some Star Fox. Um, let's check out uh, one more game.
No, no, sorry, Donald. Uh, let's just check out Super Mario World. Obviously, this is an iconic game that everyone knows, everyone loves, and if this game is running good, then I would say that, you know, we have a winner on our hands. I, yes, I had to do this again. Um, we're gonna skip the intro of the game and just get right into the first level here. And yeah, it is, it is, it is Super Mario World. You know, classic game, awesome game, and they did a really good job with the game variety on this system, I feel. Like, you have so many different games to play of different genres. You know, Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild, you have Link's Awakening, you have Super Metroid, you have Super Mario World, you got some, uh, you know, cult classics on here as well. 20 games was definitely the right decision. I'm glad Nintendo did that, and I must say, I'm pretty impressed. I think if you've been sort of waiting, you know, if the, uh, if the NES online games weren't enough for you to want Want to get Nintendo Switch's online service, I definitely think that this is an upgraded value now. It'll be interesting to see sort of what games roll out on this system over time because, of course, you know, you're not going to get 20 games every month. It's definitely going to be slowing down. Will they still be putting NES games on there? Will they only be focusing on Super Nintendo games? I could see that becoming not necessarily problematic, but maybe a um, maybe a, a bit of a concern for some people but really with all these 20 super nintendo games these games are going to last you a while you know these aren't just you know a game that you beat in an hour or so well i mean some of them are but some of these are you know longer adventures and things like that so definitely a very solid lineup of games i'm very impressed with the emulation everything is running nice the online was also running very good as well so yeah like i don't really have any sort of complaints about this so let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the super nintendo games for the nintendo switch online service like i said be sure to go check out spawn waves video there'll be a link in the description box down below where you can see us playing super tennis because it went a little bit better than my super mario kart tour did and thank you guys for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications check out other videos on the channel and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later